The Kyle Perico heist was by far the best way to make money in GTA Online. But after a series of nerfs that Rockstar has made to this heist, you cannot make as much money while playing this heist. Everyone is pretty frustrated with these nerfs, but I wanted to answer the question now, how many Kyle Perico heists will it take me to purchase the Oppressor Mark II, the infamous vehicle in GTA Online? So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so currently right now, I am on a new account that I made for a previous video. And before I started recording, I gathered enough money to purchase the Kasatka, the submarine that I need in order to start up the Kaya Perico heist. So now that I have that, my bank account is completely flushed out, except for $2,000. I'm gonna use that $2,000 to fast travel once during our first Kaya Perico heist. But we are gonna do the Kaya Perico heist until we hit $8 million so we can buy the Oppressor Mark II right here. Now there is a trade price for the Oppressor Mark II, but I need a terabyte, which in order to have a terabyte, I need an Nike club and then i need to complete five client jobs which i need a terabyte to do that so yeah we're not doing that all i am allowed to do is the guy up ice to earn eight million dollars so i can buy this oppressor mark ii so i can start flying in the air because you know i'm pretty garbage in gta online so i'm gonna need the help of an oppressor mark ii but yeah let's head over to our kasaka and let's start up our first guy up heist all right, so we've made it over to our Kasaka and then meet our best friend for this video, Pavel. This is the guy that is manning our Kasatka. Pavel's gonna help us out during our Kaya Perico heist. You know, they nerfed like the actual Kaya Perico heist, but at least they did not nerf Pavel. Pavel's so amazing and I, everyone should agree with that. All right, I just wanna explain some things real quick while Pavel is talking. The latest nerfs for the Kaya Perico heist that pretty much took most of the primary targets and deducted their pay cut by 30%. Yeah, when I'm recording, recording this right now that came out literally two days ago that update so it's gonna be kind of fun to see how long this video is actually gonna take me because well you know one of my videos took me actual three months for me to actually create that's awesome I, hopefully this doesn't take three months but who knows maybe it will all right pavel got through his speech so yeah we can access the planning screen now and yeah we can start gathering intel for the Kyo perico heist and this gather intel mission is gonna be very different from the other gather intel missions all right we've made it to lsia and we're gonna board this jet right here with a bunch of like celebrities and whatever i don't know yeah but this is going to be our ticket for the first time we go to Cayo perico all right here we go we have made it over to Cayo perico this is going to be the island that we are going to be robbing a ton in this one video and there is el rubio the man that we are trying to rob the entirety of this video and rocks are literally I had to nerf the Cayo perico high just because of how much i have robbed this one man i mean like geez i apologize that it was my fault for absolutely robbing this dork so many times. It was my fault that I got nerfed. Sorry, sorry, guys, sorry. Man, they're gonna try to nerf the Kyo Perico Ice, but I'm still gonna rob this dork. I mean, like, what are they gonna do? I'm still gonna walk right through him. Even if he only had, like, a one single dollar bill, it is freaking safe. I would go to Kyo Perico and I'd steal that dollar. And then once I'd get off the island and back to safety, I'd literally light a match and burn that one dollar. I don't care about the money, except for this video. I care about the money. I care about absolutely robbing this door. All right, here we go. We have made it over to the party venue. We're trying to pose as Kinzen Music's tour manager or whatever. And then when the party gets like really, really going, we're going to sneak out and kind of scope out the island. All right, so now, yeah, we're supposed to like wait for this guard that's in front of me to, you know, get out the web. Currently right now, he's just standing there. So as soon as he moves, we're going to sneak out through that path and then we're going to start scoping out the island. But in the meantime, I'm just going to dance. All right, so the guard is finally moving. So yeah, I am going to try to get out of here. All right, so now we need to make our way over to the compound and then yeah we'll start scoping out the island from there all right i see the compound from here but yeah there's a security checkpoint so yeah obviously we're not gonna scoop that out so pavel's gonna pretty much tell me that i need to go to the communications tower all right so we've made it to the communications tower and we pretty much need to go to the signal box which the signal box is going to be up here yeah here's the signal box so yeah now we need to hack into the signal box all right there we go i've hacked into the cctv and yeah El Rubio is clearly not a good person. Oh, El Rubio is going to throw this guy into the cage. Oh, gosh. Well, the Panther's going to, you know, destroy him. Ah, okay. All right, anyways, after that gruesome scene, we need to go and try to find the Madrazo files. Now, we need to have a little talk about the 
lots of files. The reason I'm starting this out on a new account where I haven't done a Kyo Perico heist before is to display that the Madrazo files later on when we do this heist actually is going to pay out the same. And so is the pink diamond. But aside from those two primary targets, the other primary targets have been decreased by 30%. So yeah, we're going to do this first Kyo Perico heist with us getting the Madrazo files. And then after that, it's going to be determined like which primary target are we going to get? Hopefully we get a pink diamond at least once, but who knows? All right, so I'm getting caught right here. I still need to scope out the North Dock. They forced us to go scope out the North Dock, which is a little annoying because I'm not even going to use the North Dock, but whatever. All right, I made it to the North Dock. Travel's going to want me to scope out some secondary loot locations here at the North Dock, but I mean, I'm not even going to go to the North Dock. This is so stupid. I hate how they force us to go scope out the North Dock. All right, I scoped out the entirety of the North Dock or what Pavel forced me to do. So now I am going to head over first to the drainage tunnel. I'm going to take a picture of the drainage tunnel and then I have to take a picture of the main dock. And then I'm going to scope out a little bit of the airfield for some more secondary loot. And then after that, we should be done with this gather intel mission. But yeah, this gather intel mission is going to be a lot different than the ones later on after we do it for the first time. Because with this one, there's like so many cutscenes and whatnot. All right, so I've looked at everything I've needed to look at. So now I can get out of here and go back to Los Santos. Finally, the intel has been complete. All right, so we're back at the Kasaka. And yeah, now Pavel's going to give me the rundown, even though Pavel doesn't know on this account that I've absolutely destroyed and embarrassed El Rubio so many times before. All right, so first things first, we're going to get our approach vehicle. And for doing this solo, we want to get the long fin. So yeah, here we go. Let's start up the long fin prep mission. So yeah, pretty much for this first Kaya Perico heist, I'm going to walk you through kind of how I like to do the Kaya Perico heist. I had to do the Kaya Perico heist a lot for a video that I just made. So yeah, I, I am pretty comfortable with doing this Kaya Perico heist. I know still a lot of people don't even know like really the best way to do it as far as like a solo player is concerned. When it comes to solo playing this heist, I pretty much have this down packed. But yeah, anyways, yeah, we're trying to get the long fin right here because the long fin is going to be our best approach vehicle as a solo player. Now it's going to change if you're doing this multiplayer, but solo, yeah, you're going to do the long fin. For this setup, I had to go get a truck cab and I have to take it back to the Vespucci police station where they're holding a, a long fin for some reason. All right, here we go. We've made it to the LSPD right here. So yeah, um, let's just act cool, you know, act natural, right? Um, hello, officers. Um, I need to deliver this to another police station. Um, yeah, Timothy requested I move this to a different location, but okay, fine. I guess those people don't understand things, you know, they don't understand the authority of Timothy. So now what I like to do, I just like to go and die because then we won't have the cops on us now. So now we can easily take the long fin to the location. Then yeah, we should be good to go. All right, here we go. We've made it to the docks. All right, and there we go. High spread complete. Let's move on to the next one. So now we have to go and get the safe code. So let's start up this setup. And now we need to head over to the casino. All right, so we made it over to the casino and I need to take out these security guards. Please. Oh God, I missed. That was embarrassing. Stop. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy get right here. That's not what I wanted. I was spamming beat to punch that guy in the face. And yeah, he just freaking... No, no, it's going to happen again. No, hit him. What the heck? fine. Just stay down. I hate you. I hate you. Ah, I just wanted to smack you in the face, but no. Didn't want me to. All right, so now we have to go find the head of security, wherever he's at. All right, where is the head of security? I've checked every location but here. Head of security is right here. I see a shoulder. Um, shoulder shots. Dude, how much shots can you eat? There you go. Yeah, just eat some bullets. How about that? All right, there we go. We have the safe code now. So now we just need to get out of here. All right, and there you go. High prep complete. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so now I need to go get the fingerprint cloner. So yeah, let me go do that. All right, so I'm at this warehouse and I need to take out a few of these guys. There we go. I can actually smack someone in the face. All right, anyways, yeah. So we need to go to this laptop and then we just have to find the archive. All right, so we made it over to the archive. We just have to make it all the way to the back of this archive and find the fingerprint cloner. And there's a fingerprint cloner. So all we have to do is just get out of here and take it back to the Kasaka. We should be good to go. And there we go. We delivered the fingerprint cloner back to the Kasaka. All right, so we have two more setups that we have to do. The next thing we have to do is go get the cutting torch. So let's go and do that. All right, so for this setup, we have to to a construction site and pretty much all we have to do this construction site is find a cutting torch but we don't want to get caught it gets a little more annoying if we get caught so we put on a hard hat and yeah we just walk around here with a hard hat trying to find a cutting torch all right here's the cutting torch the cutting torch is inside of this toolbox 
and there we go so then all we have to do is just head back to our kasaka we should be good to go all right so now let's jump into the final prep mission before we do that though we want to put a suppressor oh i just realized you do not have five thousand dollars to put a suppressor on our weapons that's fantastic okay i will get two thousand dollars i'll rob a few stores just really get two thousand dollars but anyways we have to go get our weapons we either get a good mission or a bad mission and oh we get the good one okay good any sort of building is good so yeah we just have to go to 707 best poochie and go steal some weapons so we made it here to the office building and uh we pretty much didn't see that guy there we pretty much have to take out a bunch of guys and then we have to find an office locker see if there's any weapons inside of it all right so everyone's been taken out so now we have to go to this gun locker and we can't open up the gun locker so then we have to go to this laptop right here and then we have to do my least favorite hack in the game but luckily i got away with it and i found the numbers so then we have to go back to the gun locker and then there we go we have the weapons and now we just have to get out of here and we should be good to go you know what i've been thinking about it i think i'm actually going to try to do this finale without suppressors because I i'm starting to think about it and like really i think every person that i have to like kill i think i can just get close to them and just smack them in the face with the gun i'm pretty sure oh wait no 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 wait wait i'm lying i'm lying i'm lying well, i'm not lying but you get the gist no it's not 100 percent true for this specific Kaya Perico heist, I am going to have to kill some more people than I would like just so I can get a first time bonus. So I'm going to start robbing a store. Really? I cannot rob a store in the middle of a mission? Thanks, game. All right, there you go. Heist prep complete. All right, so I need to get like 1500 more dollars, which is kind of stupid. So let me go do that and then I'll be ready for the finale. All right, so we've done all the setups that we need to do. So now Pavel is going to talk to us. Oh my gosh, Pavel. All right, so yeah, well, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, we are ready to go we have everything that we need to do oh my pavel is such a talker today okay, thank you for shutting up all right let's start all right so here we go the approach vehicle oh my dude he's going to talk every single one he's literally going to talk about every single one like oh my god we're using the long fin okay infiltration point oh my there doesn't need to be a spiel about it i already know what it is we're going to the main dock i'll show you why compound entry point we're going to use the drainage tunnel i'll show you why our escape point it doesn't even matter so i'm just gonna click airstrip but this doesn't matter either and i'll show you why in time of day how do you have anything to say about time of day is there really a strategy between day and night oh i guess you can knock out the lights at nighttime and then ooh, scary it could be a little sneaky i don't know but i i like doing it during the day because i like to see everything oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god did i not purchase suppressors yes all right there we go i purchased suppressors <laughs> almost forgot about that all right yeah so this is a little cutscene that we get but honestly i'm kind of pissed off at pavel because he's talking a little too much so yeah i'll never be pissed off at pavel ever again there we go the first kayo perico heist that we are going to do for this video all right so our entrance point was the main dock but we are literally just going to turn immediately left and we're going to go to the airstrip so we can loot over there all right so we are going to park this boat like right there that's good i don't think Think this should drift out to sea too far oh my god it's already drifting out to sea pretty aggressively but whatever it's fine let's just go all right so what we like to do or what i like to do is kill this guy right there because he's in my way and he'll get me caught so we don't want to get caught we want to do this stealthy you don't have to do this stealthy but kind of a moron if you don't do it stealthy right, anyways when i scoped out the island i found two things of cola inside of here and cola is going to be the most lucrative thing as far as secondary loot and that's what we're doing right now we're trying to get as much secondary loot as possible possible before we actually get our main target so let's collect all the secondary loot oh yeah i'm just remembering now i think on a normal kyle perico heist in the past my normal like secondary loot take was between like 400 and maybe five hundred thousand dollars. i mean we have two things of cola which for playing the kyle perico heist legitimately solo without like glitching your way to get gold is the best thing you can get as far as secondary loot i mean we might not even touch four hundred thousand dollars with just secondary secondary loot all right how much are we gonna get yeah three hundred and ninety seven thousand dollars yeah so the secondary loot since the big update has definitely taken a massive hit i mean this heist as of right now is gonna pay out pretty much as what it was before the update since we're getting the madrazo files and the madrazo files haven't been touched but pretty much the rest of the kyle perico heist that we do in this video except for when we get the pink diamond if we get the pink diamond is going to be at a 30 percent pay cut all right so yeah now we're back in the long fin 
it didn't drift out to sea, so that's awesome. So now we have to go all the way to the compound, and we're gonna go to the compound via the sea. All right, so here is the compound right here, and the way we're gonna get into the compound is via the drainage tunnel. And we have to equip a rebreather, and yeah, let's go down here, and we have to cut through the grate so we can get inside of the compound. All right, there you go. We cut through the grate. So now let's head over to El Rubio's compound. All right, so now we're inside the compound. Now it is time to do our thing. So we're gonna run over here, run this way, and then right here, we're gonna hang a left. And then right here, we're gonna hop that barrier, and then we're gonna climb up these steps, and this guy's already turned around, that's good. And we need this guy to kinda hide in his little corner right here, and we're gonna smack him in the back of the face, cause we don't like that guy. And then we wanna go over here, and then his little best friend is right here, and while we kill that guy, we have to kill his best friend too. And then they also have another friend, which is over here. So we go up here, we smack this guy in the face, and boom, that guy had gate keys, which is going to be huge, but we'll get into why that's important a little later on. You don't need gate keys, but it makes it a little nice. Oh yeah, we open up this to get some secondary loot a little bit more. And ooh, that was only what? That was like 30 something thousand dollars. It used to be between 50 and 90 thousand dollars as far as getting things from that safe. So that's crazy. That's a huge pay cut. <laughs> we got like 30 something thousand. Oh yeah, by the way, I didn't say this. We're hacking right now. And we're trying to hack to make it down to the basement, which I've already cleared through the hack. All right, so now let's just head down to the basement all right so now we're at the basement and we need to go into here and now we need to get into the safe and we have the safe code right there all right there we go we've made it inside of the safe let's get those madrazo files all right so now we have a take of one million five hundred and thirty four thousand dollars now i want to exit this way and i have to do one more small hack it's only a small one all right and there we go that hack took me pretty much 10 seconds all right so now let's go over here we're gonna go out this way we want to hang a right right there and then yeah the gate keys will unlock this gate oh my gosh i just see a juggernaut that's kind of close to me on the map so i'm going to chill out for a second okay now we're good i don't know honestly 100 percent if the juggernaut can catch me right there but how about let's make that zero percent chance and maybe not like a two percent chance we want that to be absolutely zero zero but anyways we're gonna head out the compound right here all right so we made it out of the compound now we are gonna walk over here and there's a guy who, that's standing by a bike i want that guy's bike so that guy's gonna have to unfortunately get out of my way um i'm only going to do this during this kyle Prigo heist versus the other kyle Prigo heist that we're gonna do later on but i am going to post up right here and we're gonna take out this guy right here we're taking out that guy so that guy will 100 percent not see the dead remains of his friend all right so and now we just want to fly off the island and then yeah we just need to start swimming away put on a rebreather and just swim just swim away from the island and we should be good to go all right so now we're gonna get this cutscene for the first time completing the kyo Perico ice all right and there we go kyo Perico ice number one has been complete all right so we had an actual take of one million five hundred thousand dollars we got 100 percent of that because we did this solo and we are going to get the elite challenge because well of course i did everything for Flawless. So that means we get an extra $50,000 on that. So in total, we made $1,550,000. It's a great start to us buying the Oppressor Mark II. All right, and there we go. Oh, oh yeah. We get a ton of first-time bonuses too. I'm going to walk through the first-time bonuses that we just got. All right, so we got this one, the Kyle Perico Heist. Complete the Kyle Perico Heist for the first time to earn $200,000. And then we have Going Alone. Complete the Kyle Perico Heist with one player to earn $100,000. And then we got this one, Cat Burglar, which is completing the Kyle Perico Heist without ever alerting the guards. So in total, that was an extra... Wait, that doesn't add up. Hold on. Oh, and then we had this last one too. I almost forgot this one. The Elitist. Complete the Elite Challenge for the Kyle Perico Heist. So in total, I got $700,000 in first-time bonuses along with the $1,500,000 that we got for our first Kyle Perico Heist. Now, that was a great first Kyle Perico Heist, but the money is going to start to go downhill pretty quickly unless if we get the pink diamond but i'll see you when i'll do my next kyo perico heist 
All right, so it's a new day, and we're going to do another Cayo Perico heist. Yeah, let's start setting up the Cayo Perico heist. Now, the first Cayo Perico heist, Miguel Madraza took care of the setup costs. So I didn't get to show this during the first Cayo Perico heist, but now when we try to set up the Cayo Perico heist, we have to pay $100,000 to start up the Cayo Perico heist. It was originally $25,000, so that's pretty crazy that it's that much of an increase, but I mean, you're still profiting at the end of the day. So yeah, now we're going to do this gather intel mission and I'll see you when I get to the control tower and I know what is going to be my primary target. All right, so I'm in the CCTV now. So we have to check out what's going to be our primary target. Now, is it going to be the pink diamond or something? Oh, 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 good. The, the thing that's really, really bad now, the tequila. Okay. Yeah, after I finish this, I'm going to check out exactly how much that's going to give us. But it used to give us $900,000 for getting the tequila. It's probably just tanked now. Like, I think it's like at 600,000. If that's right, that is crazy. Yeah, but this is definitely going to show just how crazy this nerf really is because we're still making close to a million before but now oh it's gonna be crazy how little money we're gonna get from the tequila all right so there you go you can see how much in the top right the uh, tequila is gonna give us it's only gonna give us six hundred and thirty thousand dollars that's a huge drop off but i'm so curious to see just really how much when it's all said and done we're gonna get from this kyo perico heist in particular but i'll see you when we complete this kyo perico heist just to see how much money we get Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I just recognized this. I think that time when I collected the stuff out of the wall safe, I think I got $93,000. I think I was at $420,000 beforehand. And now I'm at five hundred thirty. dollars Wow, okay. So that's a huge range that we can get now. I think the first time I got, what, like $30,000, something like that. So maybe it's like a range from $25,000 to $100,000. Maybe something like that. I don't know for certain, but that's crazy. Okay. So you can still get a lot of money from the wall safe, but it's just, you know, kind of like every once in a while. It's just all depends. All right, there we go. Another Kaya Perico heist has been passed. All right, so we had an actual take of $1,006,000. Oh my gosh. We barely eclipsed a $1 million mark, but we do complete the Elite Challenge once again, so we'll get pretty much $1,056,000. All right, so now we're sitting at $3,163,000. So we still need to make just under $5 million to purchase this Oppressor Mark II. So I'll see you when I'm ready to do my next Kaya Perico heist. All right, so I'm about to jump into my third Kyle Perico heist. And as you can see, I have a new mask on my face. And I'm filming this October 6th, the day after the event week came out where this mask was for free. So I have this mask now. I thought it'd be fun to wear this. But anyways, yeah, let's start up our third Kyle Perico heist. I have to give over $100,000 uh, of my money. All right, but I'll see you in the middle of this gather intel mission. Dude, is Pavel talking? I don't have my headset on because I don't really need my headset. Is Pavel really talking? talking again. Dude, Pavel, we've done this twice already. There's nothing new here. Okay, finally. All right. I guess he was talking. I, I, whatever. But I'll see you when I know what my primary target is for this Kyo Perico heist. All right, we're back at the CCTV. Um, What are we getting this time? Uh, Can we get something better than the tequila, please? Oh, okay. We're going to get bearer bonds this time. All right. I am perfectly fine with that. Bearer bonds. I think bearer bonds is the second best main objective behind the pink diamond on a normal normal cycle. I mean, if I remember correctly, we used to get like, I don't know, what, like 1.4, 1.5 million when we got bearer bonds. I don't know. Let's just see how much money we'll get this time with bearer bonds. But I'll see you when we're ready to do the finale. All right. So we're about to jump into the finale right here. And as you can see, bearer bonds are right now valued at $770,000. Honestly, not that much different than the tequila. Like I am dying to see if I can actually get the pink diamond for one of these before I hit the $8 million mark, just so I can see like how how much the pink diamond would pay out with the pay for the pink diamond not being changed but everything else being decreased by 30 percent other than the madraza files but i don't know let me just quickly do this heist and yeah we'll see how much in total i'm gonna get paid
All right, there we go. Our third Kyo Perico heist has been passed. And this time we had an actual take of $1,059,000. Not that much difference from the one with the tequila. So I was thinking about it. I mean, with this update, I mean, pretty much aside from getting the Madrazo files or getting the pink diamond, there's not much difference from getting the tequila all the way to getting the bearer bonds or the ruby necklace. I mean, you pretty much are going to have like a final take of like right around a million dollars, just a little north of a million dollars. That's what I'm starting to notice with this. But there we go. Third Kyle Perico heist has been done. I'll see you when I'm ready to do my fourth. All right, it's a brand new day. I'm still wearing this beautiful mask or whatever. And it is time to jump into our fourth Kyle Perico heist right here. So once again, they are going to steal $100,000 away from me, which is always awesome. But whatever, you just take my money, I guess. But yeah, I'll see you when I know what my primary target is going to be. Hopefully we can get a pink diamond. That'd be really nice. All right, so I've made it back to the CCTV once again. Now, what am I going to get this? I would really, really like a pink diamond. You know, I haven't gotten a pink diamond yet. I would really appreciate it if we got a pink diamond. Oh my gosh, we should get a bottle of garbage. That's fantastic. All right. Well, I guess I'll see you when I have completed this heist. All right, there we go. Another Kyo Perico heist has been completed. All right, and this time we got $1,015,000. And pretty much we are going to be sitting right around this one to $1.1 million range, unless if we get the pink diamond or the Madrazo file. But I'll see you when I do my next Kyo Perico heist, and maybe we'll actually acquire a pink diamond for once. All right, so I'm back for another Kyo Perico heist. It's the same day as I did the last Kyo Perico heist, and I forgot to mention how much money I have currently right now. So, so far, after four Kyo Perico heists, I am sitting right now at $5,117,000. So, less than $3 million away from buying the Oppressor Mark II. So, yeah, let's go over to the screen right here, and, yeah, we have to go and give Rockstar another 100 k just to start this up. So, yeah, once again, take my hard-earned money. Money, and I'll see you next when we know what is going to be our primary target. Hopefully, we can get a pink diamond. You know, I've gotten a lot of tequila. Come on, come on, pink diamond for me. Come on, you got this, El Rubio. All right, once again, we're back to the CCTV now. El Rubio better not have gotten another bottle of tequila. Really would not be a fan if he just went out and just went to the grocery store and got another tequila. Okay, okay. Oh, we are doubling up on Barra Bonds now. So we've gotten one Madrazo file, two Barra Bonds, and then we've also gotten two bottles of Sensamito tequila. Okay. I mean, we haven't even seen the ruby necklace yet. Where's that been? El Rubio not really giving us any variety at all. Like, come on, man. You own your own island. Like, I don't know. Maybe just get like a random statue of like your panther or something. That'd be cool, you know? All right. Well, anyways, I'll see you when we've completed this Kyle Perico hide. All right, there we go. Another Kyle Perico ice pass. All right, so once again, we had an actual take of $1,126,000. I feel like this is actually a little bit more than usual. What the heck? Well, we've been getting pretty much less than $1,100,000 before the Elite Challenge, but I mean, now we're getting $1,176,000. It's all right around the same amount of money, pretty much, but whatever. All right, so now I'm sitting at $6,182,000. So we're probably looking at two more Kyle Perico heists. So I don't know. I I'll see you when I'm able to do another Kyle Perico heist. All right, once again, we're joining another Kyle Perico heist right here. So let's go to the board and let's set it up. Oh, 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 I just realized we're going to do this on hard mode. Okay, okay. We haven't had a hard mode one before. So for hard mode, you get 10% more money, essentially. That's definitely for the primary target. I don't know if that's for the secondary loot either. But anyways, we're going to do this on hard mode, even though what we're doing, it's not going to change any difficulty at all. But we still have to give $100,000 of my hard earned money. So awesome. Just take my money. There you go. And let's set this up. All right, we're going to do another gather intel mission. Can we get a pink diamond on hard mode? That'd be really nice. Like, come on, come on, game. Let's make this happen. All right, I'll see you when we get to the CCTV so we can figure out what I'm actually stealing. All right, so we're back at the CCTV once again. All right, all right, Al Rubio, you have to have gotten a pink diamond now, please. Give me a hard mode pink diamond. That'd be much appreciated. Come on. Come on, El Rubio. You, oh my God. Just freaking went to the ABC store and got another bottle of tequila. Oh my. You freaking cheapskate. Come on, El Rubio. What are you doing? Quite embarrassing. Whatever. I'll go steal this bottle of tequila and then. Yeah, we'll just see how much money I get after that. So I'll see you when we complete this heist.
And there we go. Another Kyoprico Ice has been completed. And this time we actually had a... Oh my, $970,000. That's really crazy. Because when you really think about it, that was on hard mode, in which everything's supposed to be 10% more. Okay, I forgot on hard mode though. The Elite Challenge is $100,000 instead of $50,000. So that makes up for the little bit of money that we got. I kind of got screwed that run because I've been getting lucky on the wall save. I was getting some fat paychecks out of the wall save. That time I only got like $20,000, which I think that kind of affected that. But man, on a hard mode Kyle Perico Ice having a final take before the Elite Challenge of $970,000, that's just a big yike, Simi. That's crazy. I got some extra money. How did I just get money? It was like a quick blip on the screen. I didn't get a chance to clearly see it. I assume it's for me completing it on hard. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got this one right here. Blow hard. Gosh, what a name. What a name. Complete the Kaya Perico heist on hard and without losing a life during $200,000. It doesn't really matter though because we still are going to need to do another Kaya Perico heist in order for us to buy the Oppressor Mark II because right now we're sitting at $7,336,000. So I'll see you for our final Kyle Perico heist. All right, so it's a new day for me. And while this is probably going to be my last Kyle Perico heist. So yeah, let's go over to the planning board right here. And once again, I have to pay $100,000. So yeah, let's do that. But yeah, let me go through this gather intel mission. I'll see you when we can actually figure out what is going to be my primary target. All right, so we're back on the CCTV. This is kind of emotional. It's going to be the last time I'm going to be doing this in this video. But I don't know. It would be even more emotional if we can get a pink diamond here. You know, everything can just come full circle. Um, okay. I mean, at least we get a little bit of variety. We get the ruby necklace. We hadn't gotten that this entire video. So yeah, pretty much we got all the primary targets except for the pink diamond. So that's a little unfortunate, but I'll see you when I actually complete this Cayo Perico heist. And there we go. Our final Kyle Perico heist has been completed. So we had an actual take of $1 million pretty much on the dot. Wow, geez. Okay. But obviously we get the elite challenge. So we're pretty much going to get $1,050,000 for this heist. All right. So after a total of seven Kyle Perico heists, we are now sitting at $8,278,000 which that is over what we need in order to purchase the Oppressor Mark II. So let's go to Warstock Cash and Carry and let's go purchase the Oppressor Mark II. All right, so here we go. Here's the Oppressor Mark II. Now that we could have gotten this for $6 million, but I would have needed a nightclub in order to purchase a terabyte. I know we went over that earlier this episode. We are not eligible to get the trade price. We had to get the $8 million to buy it right now. But anyways, yeah, let's purchase this Oppressor Mark II and there we go. So after seven Cairo Perico I here is our Oppressor Mark II for $8 million right here. So here's our beautiful Oppressor Mark II. We can just fly around like a moron. You know how people are with the Oppressor. The easiest vehicle to fly in the game. Yeah, this took me seven Kyle Perigo heists in order to purchase this. Honestly, if it wasn't for the first time bonuses that I received, it would have taken me eight. And it would have been very, very close to because we were pretty much making like a million dollars per Kyle Perigo heist like on the dot. Which I mean before it probably, I can't confirm this but I would say it took right around like five, maybe six Kyle Perico Ice in order to make $8 million to purchase an Oppressor Mark II. Now without the first time bonuses, it's taking us eight. Like, oh my gosh. It's a lot different out here, but it's still a great way to make money though. Make sure you check out this video right here if you want to see how fast I can purchase every business in GTA Online.